brother, brother Hamad, where are we, where are we going today? Going to go to Inshallah. Inshallah. Do you have a message for the brothers? Do make lots of dua for that you make the come back in my Inshallah. Inshallah. Go, go on. What, what have you got in the, in the boots, Zubair? So this, this is three people stuff. This is three people? <laughs> yeah. These are... This is just one person stuff. What? Like Bro, who is that? You brought that? That's you? Yeah, they told me to come. <laughs> he's ready for, he's ready for, he's ready for three people, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> Raheem, what's going on, man? What are these are doing? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Bro. Look, look, look how nice my car is. Okay, yeah, let's, let's check out your car. Yeah, let's check out your car. Nice, take this. Elite Grandmaster. Mashallah. The air fryer here, the ninja something. The ninja five million or something like that. <laughs> Got some chickens in there. We've got the spare drinks in there. We've got the vegetables. Mashallah. Come in here. This is the biriyani that we're not gonna cook. The biriyani. Yo. We've got the coal for the barbecue. And, um, yeah. Bro, one umma smashed it. Right. Dentist. Let's see what the dentist right, has. Right, cool. So we've got the tooth. We've got the manual toothbrush. Manual dexterity. You know what I'm saying? Manual. Yeah. yeah. You haven't got electric. It's not mine. It's not mine. Okay. 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 We've got the tongue screen. Fucking nasty tongue. The Colgate toothpaste. I can't lie, he's got the cheap ones. It's, it's not the good yeah. The full one is a bit peak, yeah. He's got, okay, he gets extra points though. He's got the disclosing tablets. So that checks how you brush your teeth. Where'd you have that for? Shit, yeah, my god, come on. Did you have floss? Yo, yo, if you ever need to um, know how to cook a chicken chow meat, just uh, the. Oh, <laughs> the ingredients on the back. <laughs> ingredients on the back, yeah. <laughs> First one off. Okay, Zain, how, how, how long have you got left? Um, we just got just under four hours. Mashallah, four Fortunately, hours. we are miles ahead of everyone else or something. Yeah, reason. everyone else has decided. I thought we were leaving together, but. Yep. Shut up, man. Everyone is about uh, half an hour behind us. We're gonna get there very early. Okay, me. Uh, Shrek. Fun, how you doing? Yeah. Good. A bit, a bit tired, tired. Isn't it? A bit tired. No problem. Inshallah. I'm gonna buy an energy drink, can it? You're gonna buy an energy drink. Are you old enough for that? <laughs> Maybe stop somewhere now. You sure you're old enough for that one? I'm 18. He's 18. Is that, is that legal? Yeah, he's 18. He's 18. <laughs> Mashallah, mashallah. So yeah. wh why do we come to this uh, service station? Because they specifically have a prayer room. They specifically have a prayer room, yeah? Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Zain, we made it. How are you feeling? Yeah. What was that? Hell of a journey. He's a driver here, absolutely knackered. That bit down there, that was scary. Man. Yeah. How are you? How are you feeling from Qan? Feeling good. Feeling good, yeah? Not, not too tired? Yeah, but it was getting kind of stressful. Like, the roads were getting narrow in it. Yeah. Why was it getting sure. stressful for you, man? Like, I was just looking around. Like, yeah, because yeah, yeah. the car kept them it's long, isn't it? It's too long. Ready to climb the mountain? Oh, yeah, of course. Ready. Here we have the second car to arrive. The main man himself, Raheem. What took you, sir? Allah, 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 Allah. <laughs> Allah, third car to arrive. Take your time, lads. Two hours. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Barakatuh. Brother, what? What? What kind of driving was that? What kind of driving was that? I got it. Alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalam ala Muhammad 
Uh, my dear respected brothers, as you know, my name is Eamon, uh, as known as Achi Eamon. And last time that I bless you, this is our brother, Abu Sofyan, Abdullah, Anas, Asim, Abid, Ismail, and also Khattab. We've come here, alhamdulillah, as many of you have come as well. You've come all the way out of your ways. Some of you just got married, Allahumma barik. Some of you left your mother, your father, your siblings. You've come all the way here in order to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I hope this is the intention. The number one ground rule, uh, the ground rule is, our dear respected brothers, is respecting each other. This is the most important thing. This also has to work in a marriage as well. It also, also works in a uh, working environment and at the very same time in every aspect of your lives. Respecting one another when someone speaks, give them the benefit of the doubt. This is for you to be yourself. While, while being yourself is we're seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing and his mercy and his love and his care, inshallah wa ta'ala. That's the number one thing. Secondly, my dear respected brothers and sisters, A'udhu Billah, subtract that. There's no sisters here. I'm so used to saying brothers and sisters, but my dear respected brothers, every single one of us is going through something. Some of us mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and also verbally. What I mean by verbally, Yaqi, some of us can't control our tongues. We like to swear. It's, it's become normal. We like to swear, we like to say certain things. They may not be swear words, but it's not. It's not a nice thing to hear, if you know what I mean, talking about certain matters. So this is also something that all of us suffer from. I'm one of them. I suffer from every single one of them. But Alhamdulillah, Islam puts it in check. And this is what we're here to know. Get to know one another. And this is the beginning of many, many trips to come. So bear that in mind, inshallah wa ta'ala. Thirdly, which is the most important, is our salah. We get to pray salah together as one as one insha'Allah. And this was important. Fajr, Dhuhr, Wa Asr, Wa Maghrib, Wa Isha. As one. Take this opportunity to work on yourselves. Because this is a huge thing for me. So just bear that in mind, insha'Allah. I'm going to pass it over to Abu Sufyan. But if there's anything you ever want to talk about, Akhi, I don't care how big or small it is, this is your opportunity. Here, over these few days, this is it. Don't be shy. Open up. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. My name's Abu Sufyan, yeah? Just a quick thing. I've done this before, Alhamdulillah, years ago, when I was about 15, a little retreat. One of the main things I want you to take away and use in this time is the different levels of the different knowledge people have. So, for example, Eamon, I'm sure you lot know, not know, dark past and it turned it into a good thing. Inshallah, if you don't really relate to that, it's easy someone to talk to. Me, mine was a council thing, mental health, depression stuff, if you need help with that, that's one. When it comes to prison and stuff, Qatar, brother, he's, he, done, he done life in jail, he done 16, 17, 16 or 17, 16 years in jail. Yeah, when it comes to stuff like that, he's the best person. When it comes to Islamic knowledge, yeah, when it comes to fitness and stuff, and youth work, that's, and that's the ish. When it comes to opening your own business and accounting and stuff, I'll say ish and abid, that's, that's two of the things that they do, yeah? He's a freelancer, a security work. Alhamdulillah, that's Everyone's got their own skills, get to know everyone around you. And my little brother there, someone the door, he just come out of jail. Literally, like, couple, how many weeks were it? Three weeks. So inshallah, there's, there's loads of different people here you can benefit from. From here, bro, brothers, respect each other, innit? I know you lot all have this little joke around, things like that. But you see, that's why I brought a lot of brothers that we, we came with respect each other and don't embarrass each other to us, yeah? Because then it makes all of you look weak. Do you not all know each other from before? Every single one of you? Allahumma <laughs> bad. All right. One of the main things I'm going to introduce from now is for the rest of this trip, we need a form of discipline. So if anyone steps out of line, it's push up straight away, 10 push ups. Oh, I yeah? thought I was going to use this part. If the push ups don't work, then there's other things in it. But push up straight away. Everyone agreed, yeah? As soon as you get told 10 push-ups, you sit down and do 10 push-ups. No one's doing nothing until the 10 push-ups get done. Yeah? All right, cool. Out of you lot, who's the, who's the immature one that you lot? <laughs> aye, aye, get up, get up. You two both do, get up and do push-ups now. Both of you now. Are you lot selling out your brothers? You just said don't embarrass your brothers. You both embarrass them straight away. Get up and do push-ups right now. <laughs> we just spoke about this. Do you see how mad everyone quickly forgets? Quickly to embarrass your own brothers, why? And before we move any further, brothers, 
I love every single one of you here. Wallahi, truly, as brothers. And if I do step out of line, Akhi, and you feel like I'm being, maybe I'm a bit being too, a bit too harsh, or you feel like I'm stepping out of my way, it's absolutely fine. Just speak to the elders or speak to Rahim, just for them just to come and speak either to myself or any of the team members, just solely for the sake of, we don't have any ill feelings towards one another. That's it, we're here to rectify our intentions and at the same time rectify our character, our etiquette, our manners. So if you feel like at any point, any of us step in our line and you feel like, you know what, the brother, I feel like this guy's picking on me from not just us, but from each other. This guy's picking on me or this guy. Ahi, it, is, it don't make you a snitch. Because if this is a word of being a snitch, then when Bilal radiallahu anhu went to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu due to an altercation between him and another companion, we would label him as a snitch. But would we label Bilal radiallahu anhu as a snitch? Khalas, so why would we label ourselves as a snitch? Quickly as well, I'm going to allocate Amir's in each team. You don't know what Amir is? Abdullah, like explain to them what Amir is, please. I think the best The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when there's two or more of you on a journey, <coughs> elect an Amir. An Amir is someone who's going to be in charge. So that person will be in charge of whatever you're dealing with at, at said time. So in this instance, whoever's going to be the Amir of the team, it means what they say and how they dictate things go within the bounds of Islam is final. It doesn't mean you can't ask questions, it doesn't mean you can't make suggestions, but it means no arguing. If the Amir says, brothers, settle down, no more talking or something of that nature, everyone listen to what the Amir says. If the Amir says we're going left and everyone else thinks we should go right, we go left. So generally, this is an important principle. When it comes to selecting an Amir, there's many ways to do it, but the main principle is the person who is most qualified to be the Amir should be the Amir. You understand? But in these types of light-hearted situations, obviously, it's, it's fine. Sometimes you can select a maze so that people can gain experience in these things and training in these things. Being the person that I allocate as a maze in each team, they'll be able to, they'll be the only person other than someone, one of us, that will be able to give out push-ups and stuff as well if you, someone's not listening to you. Yeah? So in your team, it's going to be the brother in the white shirt. Yeah? Cool. Inshallah. Your team, it's going to be the boy that got embarrassed at the beginning. And in your team, it's going to be the brother in the white shirt. Cool? I don't know you guys from nothing. I'm literally just basing it off random. You, I know you're young. How old are you? 15. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no one told him to send I mean, shots. That was completely on his own. It had nothing to do with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now you know what? Yeah, yeah. Tell push up. Tell push No, 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 no. You got it. It's fair. No, 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 we, no. we said that at the beginning, isn't it? No, no. No, no. Because no, no. no, no. he's struggled, he's gonna think twice <laughs> before sleeping up. <laughs> uh, cool. Obviously, it goes without saying. Yeah, repetition means you're gonna do more push-ups. So no. I just wanted to add as well, inshallah. Yes, some brothers might have already done push-ups. But the real day starts, inshallah wa ta'ala, from tomorrow onwards. So try and make a clean sheet. This is just a self-discipline. It doesn't necessarily mean you are the worst of the batch, even if you had to do 100 push-ups in that one day. And count it as, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the narration states that on, on, on some occasions, he used to do istighfar 70 times. Some narration says 100 times. So class it that every single time you do a push-up, you say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Maybe you will purposely make a mistake and not listen and this, in order for you to do, make your, make your dhikr, inshallah. This is it. So sometimes, yaki, you have to, you, you know, you have to think on the opposite side, you know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with that, but you will be disciplined. That doesn't necessarily mean you purposely do mistakes, you but just look at it like that, inshallah. Did you not change the salah time for here? No. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know if there's any close by masjid? None. Just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, what do you do? Get up, brothers, and go, go and get yourself ready for salah and stuff. Everyone say Allah Mubarak right now.
Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين We want to do a big gathering at the end but first before the big gathering the emirs and their team you're going to separate and I want each team to basically discuss amongst yourself. You're going to bring back to everyone else a valuable piece of knowledge that you knowledge. think that's good enough to share with everyone else. What better way to start off with each and every group goes away and you discuss and you pick one ayah from the Quran. That is more meaning to you all as one. And then the Emir comes together and they mention this ayah, they recite it. And at the same time, they do the translation in English. We don't want you to do a tasfil class on the ayah, but what was the meaning? What, the, what does this ayah mean to your team? So what better way to start off with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So this is upon every single one of you. Getting the barbecue ready, yeah? What are we having, man? I'm ready. I'm asleep right now, no one's eating. <laughs> Allah <laughs> so and if you fear anything other than Allah Azza then they're not going to harm you. And if you try to get in from anyone other than Allah Azza then they're not going to bear you. So if you want to fear, fear Allah. If you want to be bad, you can be bad for Allah. And if you want to be sincere, be sincere to Allah. Allah barik fikir, Sheikh. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Salaam alaykum. MashaAllah. Salaam alaykum, brother. Allahu Akbar. How many people are you cooking for, Akhi? Oh, the Akhi here. He's got the place ready, mashaAllah. Come on, man. You got glass Man in here came to me. No, no, no. no, no I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> a certain man that came to me to help them open this. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Zubair, give us, give us an eye, Zubair. Bismillah. <laughs> لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم أو ماي سابنس يو هاز تراين بس أبون ذيم سيلف لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله دو نوت ديسبير ماسي اوف الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Inna hu huwa al-ghafoor al-rahim. Indeed, He is forgiving the mercy. So basically, um, we report three teams, and each team has an emir. And the first task was, go in with your team, pick an eye. Stands out to you and your team, and then read in Arabic and also do the translation in English and tell us why you picked the ayah. So that's the first task. The believers are but a single brotherhood, so make peace and reconciliation between the two brothers and fear Allah that you may receive mercy. Allah, 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 Allah
Of discipline and it provides you more barakah. The English translation O oh, Prophet, recite the book that has been revealed to you in the English prayer. Surely, prayer for those in the East is an evil. Allah's remembrance is an evil great and merit. Allah knows all the evil. This person. Not that it outweighs it, but it will stop you. 
Some brothers, who are Mubarak, they left the premises completely. <laughs> uh, we don't know what they were doing. And then some brothers, who are Mubarak, they were willing to acknowledge their mistakes and to get out of business. Shout out to you, brothers, man. Shout out to you, brothers. Should we start clapping, yeah? Wow, you see? I nearly tested you guys. Because clapping is for women. Hey, hey, hey. If someone clapped, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's moving. But no one just. Yo, 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 yo. You guys forgot the rules at the beginning already. You know what? I saw you do it. And you do it. You know what? 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 He went. What's going on? Tell us, tell us what have we just done, what we're doing. Today, the Fatherin there. Well, that was good time. Yeah, yes. 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 Someone give him the key and tell him to go back to Southampton, bro. What did you ask for? Green tea? Green tea is nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's good for you in the morning as well. Yeah? Brothers, brothers, where are we going? Where are we going, Hamad? We're in Mansoud, inshallah. Everyone ready? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. The new laces. Someone's gonna make a TikTok edit. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> what well, you not today? Play? I can't come. Uh, my legs playing up. Um, but alhamdulillah, we've got everyone. Uh, it's about working together, teamwork as one and one. Again, probably heard these words again uh, from me multiple times. But if you work together, you will prosper together. If you prosper together, you will win. There's no community. Mashallah. Allah, my body, this looks beautiful. Is that Snowden? I have a feeling that's Snowden. Mind you, saying every mountain is snow. Bro, this, we're surrounded by mountains. Look, you come here. Beautiful mountains. Beautiful mountains. On the right is more of a hill. Okay. So, brother, you're climbing it in a very unique way. What are you doing? Tell us. Um, 20 kg vest. 20 kg vest. Oh, Allah, my God. Let's see the muscles, man. Let's see that. It's the game. No muscles, Allah, Allah. It's going to cause natural shoulder Yes, yes, yes. Training yeah? Four days and you're ready. Okay, okay. Why are you wearing a vest? Like, why are you so invested in this? Thanks to my mum, innit? I yeah. want to have status. Yes? Yeah, she uh, put it out there. 20 plus supporters, yeah. 600 pound raise. So they all donated on the basis that you wear the vest, yeah? I can't even cheat. You, you can't cheat. It it's all on camera as well, so he has to wear it. Yeah. Bismillah, Zabir. Bismillah, Hamza. What is your um, inspirational quote for the day? Inspirational quote for the day. Who are your friends? Who are my friends? Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Did you get lost? What happened, Akhi? To be honest with you, it's the creation of Allah stopped. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Like 20 minutes? An hour? No, no, no. Hour? Oh, that went quick, man. Alhamdulillah, you're here. Brother, brother, did you, did you stall? <laughs> how far? How long has it been? It's been about. What do you do? Oh, you it's do been that? about one hour minus 50 minutes. Minus 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Quick math. Quick math, brother. The people don't know is me and you. We're yeah. carrying 40 kg, bro. 40 kg right now. Love it. Yeah. And um. I'm carrying my hoodie. Mashallah, mashallah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my dear respected brothers and sisters. I don't know why he laughed, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. 
Bro, but my mentor was laughing. It's only been 10 minutes here. No doubt. No <laughs> yeah. I think I saw one. Why are we? Why are we? Think... Assalamu alaikum ya bakhar. Wallahi. Assalamu alaikum ya bakhar. Huh? Haki. I don't know. Look how big that is, bro. You know you'll do a back kick. Oh, what's this? Uh, he's on to one of you, man. One Bismillah. of you, man, didn't. Bismillah. Pray fudge, bruv. Bismillah. <laughs> Bismillah, ya Rabb. I'm going to call you back. I want to record this. Hasbi Allah wa na'ma al-wakeel. Hasbi Allah wa na'ma al-wakeel. Akhi, this is beautiful. Go on, eh? I'm not going to lie to you, Akhi, yeah? Being this close to a cow, Akhi. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, he's friendly, he's friendly. Ya salam, ya salam. Ya salam. يا سلام كيف حالك يا أخي الله أكبر السلام عليك أخي I love the pose right there اللهم بارك look at that look at that definition in those legs اللهم بارك we're about to Q&A these brothers brothers how you not feeling good yeah so far so far الحمد لله وتعالى we give thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى for me how you feeling how you feeling Alhamdulillah, I'm just chilling with my brother Aki Ayman. He's pulling the cows, Aki. I don't know if I'm going to. This is Fiyan, bro. This is the power of Allah. Put it around your waist, like I did. Oh, my. Say that again? Where did you think? Wait, Nabil. Where? Where? Where the hell did that go? Allah. Bilal, where are we going? Right up there. Oh, yeah, Fiyan. Brothers, brothers, everyone get behind your Amir, please. In your team, make this a team bonding experience. Encourage each other, support each other, push each other, and be with each other on this trip, please. Yeah? yeah? Don't come out of your teams. I know some brothers want to push further. If you're going to push further, the Amir, you have to liaise with him. You understand me? If you want to go forward, or the Amir wants the Amir should have gone forward. If you want to go forward, speak to your Amir, say, can I go a bit further? I'll wait for you when I get to them lot or something like that. Do you understand? But don't leave your teams. I don't want to see you lot separated. The camera doesn't do justice, man. Bismillah, brothers. These two Allah and Barak, they ran off it. How long have you been waiting for us? Hour and twenty. You got so at least an hour before us. You got here, yeah. Allah and Barak. My boat is gone. Mashallah. As we said earlier on, our companions, brother, they competed with each other when they were fasting, lifting heavy bricks. This is my group. Ali, you here, Zawl? Allahumma barik. How are you, Akhi? Tired, yeah? You know what ratings? Allahumma barik. He smashed it. I did it right. He was sweating a lot, but he did it right. He didn't struggle that bad either. Me and him, we just went through like it's nothing. Zishan, how are you feeling, Akhi? No British enough. Good, yeah? Alhamdulillah. These are the shabab, mashallah. Allahumma barik. Akhi did this with no shoes. Akhi is built different. Allahumma barik. Allahumma barik. <laughs> Sheikh, how are we, how we feeling, Sheikh? How are we feeling? First and foremost, I'm far from a Sheikh. Secondly, it's more of a mental discipline than anything else. Once you discipline yourself mentally, your physical state, you just have to surrender to it. Allahu Allah Akbar. Barakallah, big. He's a real champion. I'll run. I'll run. I'll first up the hill, mate. Nothing after that. That's the champ. That's the champ right there. Assalamualaikum, Ali. How are you feeling? It's the last day. We're just packing up. How was your How was your trip? It's good, yeah. What's one thing you learnt this trip? Importance of brotherhood, mashallah. Come here, Rahim. How you feeling? Last day. MashaAllah Yes, yes Half an hour left, I think Half an hour left Plenty of food left when the brothers take over the camp MashaAllah MashaAllah What's one thing you learnt this trip? You know what? One 
thing I learned was a lesson from my younger brothers. Whatever you do, you want to think about yourself, think about the others around you. Remember, there's always a consequence to your action. Yeah, you may not see it yourself, directly or indirectly, there's always a consequence, it's that ripple effect. Yeah, all in the pond, but the ripple might affect Last day today, how are you feeling, Akhi? Good, Alhamdulillah, bro. Good, yeah. Really nice, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Good, fun. How'd yeah. you find the weekend? Really fun, bro. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, what's Very one much. thing you learned this weekend? I don't know, that you, that you should go above and beyond what your mind actually thinks you could do, especially with the mountain in it, with the mountain climb. Yeah. It's really good, and brotherhood's really important in it. Assalamu alaikum. Big one slow. How did you find the trip, Ali? Yeah, it was good. Alhamdulillah, it was good. Alhamdulillah. What's one thing you learned this weekend? The importance of brotherhood. Well, why is it so important? When you're climbing the mountain, yeah. it's good to keep pushing each other, helping each other up the mountain. And just sticking together. How did you find the weekend? Entertaining, to say the least, yeah. Uh, challenging. Yes. And just, you know. It was good that it was uh, people that we know and people that we don't know. Were you the brother that went with the 20kg vest on? I was, I was. Um, um, how are your shoulders? Aching. Aching. And now I've got a six hour drive um, to do with menaces in the car. Yes. Certain menaces, here's one. No, I'm not one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's one thing you learned this weekend from this trip? Helping one another, I guess. Yeah. And you know, everything worked well. Alhamdulillah. You're going to come again next time, yeah? If there is next time, yeah, I'm, I'm down. How did you find the weekend? Yeah, mashallah, beautiful. Of course, suntan as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mashallah. Okay, what's one thing you learned this weekend? What are you taking away from this weekend? Um, the ummah is far from dead. The youth are very much visible and present. Allahumma barak. Um, and yeah, the love and unity, man. That's what I'm taking away. Alhamdulillah. No matter what part of the UK, um, the ummah is still very much connected. And I'll be taking away uni, inshallah. Beautiful. You're gonna come again next time, yeah? Of course. We've got to talk about bookings already, bro. We've got to talk about bookings already. Stay in tune for one Inshallah. Inshallah. One umma. Mashallah. Why, yeah? How did you find this weekend? I found it to be uh, very nice and I learned a lot of things. Yeah? What did you learn? What was one thing you were taking away from this weekend? One thing I'm taking away is uh, I'm taking away uh, what it means to uh, for everyone to get together and form one unity as a brotherhood. Inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Sorry. How you doing, Akhi? Alhamdulillah, how are you, sir? Alhamdulillah, Akhi. How you find this weekend? Alhamdulillah, it was good. You know, we treat away with the boys for the weekend. Yeah. Place we've never been before. Yeah. And a uh, trek at Mount Snowden. Yeah. You, you went all the way up, yeah? All the way up, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Akhi, what's one thing you're taking away from this weekend? What have you learned from this weekend? What we've learned is don't be a rebel. Stay inside. Don't go outdoors at late night. And secondly, is the brotherhood, yeah. You stick with each other, especially in the hype. There's people that had certain conditions that meant they couldn't go all the way up. But even then, they managed to get further than they had before. And, you know, we all did it in the end, alhamdulillah. It was, it was worth the, um, the night away we spent away with the family, but alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. We'll come next time, inshallah. We'll come next time, yeah? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, exactly like it. Lane, how'd you find this weekend? Alhamdulillah, it was a lovely getaway. Yeah. Good bonding with the brothers and everything. Alhamdulillah. What's, what's one thing you're taking away from this weekend? Remember Allah, whatever you're doing. Exactly. How did you find this weekend? It was good, it was exciting. Good. What's one thing you're taking away from this weekend? Stay. What's, what's one thing you've learned? Uh, to keep going, like on the mountain, for example, when it's, it's getting tough here. Yeah. Just keep going in it, because the end goal is worth it once you get to the top when you made it. How did you find this weekend, Imam? It was good. It, was, it helped. No. Yeah. It helped our brothers yes. get close together. What's one thing you learned this weekend? The importance of brotherhood. The importance of brotherhood. Oh, this weekend, no, 100%. Um, it was a very, very, a very good eye opener. Yeah. Subhanallah. The 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 creations of Allah. We went up in the mountain, we was a 1,000, well I was 500 foot, but all the other brothers made it to the top of the mountain. 
I'm very, I'm very, huh? Allahumma bari. Allahumma bari. I didn't make it to the top of that man, I'll be honest with you guys. I made it halfway and you know I spun a U turn. Yeah, no, no. The reason why, I did no excuses, but I'm scared of heights. Brothers uh, as well with me, Brother Abid, he's, Brother Abid, he's, he's scared of heights as well, but Alhamdulillah, he conquered that. Assalamu alaikum. Big shout out to One Umma community, yeah, for hosting us. Yeah, uh, I conquered my fear yesterday, went to the top of Mount Snowdonia and uh, yeah man, big shout out to the brothers that come along, uh, lovely community in Southampton, uh, big shout out to Raheem for organising this, Allahumma barik, and uh, yeah man, definitely we've got to do this again. One thing, two things actually, so the one is conquering my fear, yeah, of heights. And the second is uh, rectifying my intentions and making intentions to actually uh, 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 gain more knowledge when it comes to Islam. Yeah. Shout out to one Ummah, yeah? Brother Rahim. He's doing big works in the community of Southampton, Allah Mabarik. He's helping out their young youths. If we only had that when we was growing up, I look young. Brother's thinking I'm 21, 22. I'm actually hitting 30. I'm hitting 30 years old. You understand it? When I was 15, 16, if we had the opportunities to go as a group and go out and do activities, well, it, 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 it would have benefited me 100%. But we didn't have that, obviously, growing up, yeah? But we also, we, we did have brothers, obviously, in the community who helped us and that. I'm not saying we didn't have brothers in the But the way Raheem has come along at <laughs> I see what you done there, brother. I see extra cameras, brother. Don't, you got four lenses there, brother. What's... I do not. As soon as I go like that, it'll crumble. I do not. Oh, I don't know about you. I feel like that. I knew your eyes ago. <laughs> Relaxation, bro. But I know. Alhamdulillah. Follow Khatab on Instagram. Khatab. That's the wrong thing to do. Follow Khatab on Instagram. You see me on Khatab's Instagram. How about that? So if you want to see me, go to Khatab's Instagram. You see me there. Jazakallah. Oh, I didn't see you there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As you can see, we made it here for the three days that we were here. Allahumma barik. It was an amazing group of friends that came here and they left as brothers, Allahumma barik. And today, as you all realize, is our final day. But one of the messages that we got from today is that we needed to look after ourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, and at the very same time while doing all of that is working on our own ibadah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, this is the beginning of many more trips to come. But the matter of fact is, what do you do with yourselves? Sometimes you need to get away. Yes, we're all married. Some of us are married. Some of us have kids. But we still decided to take away, uh, take ourselves away from our families just in order for us to work on ourselves, our self-discipline, our self-mental health, and so on and so forth. And this is something that you need to do, inshallah. So just a quick message. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And I hope that you yourself come together with a group of friends could come to a place like this and leave as brothers, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum.